And before I give you the floor, let me just tell you and tell all of us in here what Прежде I... Прежде передати слово вам, хочу знову ще раз сказати, що... Я хочу нагадати, як кілька тижнів тому ми вибули у мене в резиденції, зараз ви на острові, ми на острові Готланд. Я думаю, що вам знайома ця назва. І у вас, пам'ятаєте, був момент привітання від шведського парламенту в онлайні. І тоді ви дуже обережно описували, що відбувається в Україні, дякували за допомогу, говорили про можливості спільного відновлення України після війни, а потім була секунда пауза така. І потім ви сказали, подивіться на Готланд. І запанувала тиша у кімнаті, у залі тій. І можна це було просто відчути. І всі зрозуміли, про що йдеться, що ви переживаєте, і що не хотілося пережити багатьом нам. Тому ви сьогодні з нами. Будь ласка, вам слово. Дякую дуже багато, дякую, Ульф. Мішу Прайм Міністер, я можу бачити Ріші, і я бачу... Мете, I'm sorry, I, I can't see everybody, but, but I'm happy and I know that uh, all of your nations and uh, all of you and your nations with us, thank you so much for all this time that you support us, supported us and support us. Dear colleagues, I'm, I'm glad to greet all of you and, uh, and uh, I'm glad uh, that this format of cooperation joined um, expeditionary force is effective and becoming stronger. Uh, now uh, is the time for collective efforts. It does not mean that capabilities of one nation are too weak. It means that the task we face is too big. And we need, we need reliable geopolitical stability in Europe and more broadly in the whole Euro-Atlantic space. So we need new collective forms of cooperation and strengthening of existing ones. Because we see, because we see what modern aggressions and terrorist attacks are, if an enemy of freedom has significant resources and boundless cynicism like Russia, like Hamas, like other terrorists and free nations need a really full-scale defense. Fast, as flexible as possible, not limited by outdated procedures and one that can be maintained as long as it needed. In our Euro-Atlantic space, we have NATO mainly, but not all democratic nations are engaged into this form of defense. That is why Ukraine being on the road to NATO is developing a system of security guarantees. And I think those of you who joined us in this process. Geopolitical stability is the basic element for all other forms of stability. Can a nation alone guarantee geopolitical stability for itself? Definitely not. Can the main, can the main alliance existing on our continent need to do this? Yes, but only if its members know how to be allies. Regional formats of cooperation give this very practice knowledge of being allies in one or another area at one or another historical distance. Knowledge of being allies is not gained easily and it does not come automatically and it is not a consequence of formal decision to join the allies. It is day-to-day -day cooperation. These are also our coalitions, defense coalitions, and th that help us to stand against Russia. The capabilities of large allies grow on the basis of meaningful local cooperation. Currently, we are working on creating new formats of cooperation and strengthening the existing ones in, in our region, the Black Sea region. I, um, I visited Bucharest and at the meeting with uh, President Johannes, we agreed it, that the relations between our states, Ukraine and Romania, deserve the level of strategic partnership. We are also working effectively in the Ukraine-Moldova-Romania triangle, in particular in 
logistical cooperation for the export of food produced in Ukraine, which is critically important for the food security of the world. And this also has potential for the energy industry of our countries, for energy independence from Russia. We have a common understanding of security challenges as well. Ukraine has extremely important cooperation with Bulgaria and Turkey. We, we all have to remember that joint security and development of the economy infrastructure in the Black Sea region are some of the keys to the geopolitical stability of entire Europe. New security perspectives will also emerge due to changes in the South Caucasus region neighboring the Black Sea. This will add potential to our joint security here in our part of Europe, especially when, when thanks to our defense from Russian aggression, new prospects will open for Georgia to restore its territorial integrity. All of us are now at a historical turning point. We have only two options. Either terrorist Russia will succeed in breaking freedom and then the zone of geopolitical instability which exists in the east of Europe will spread through throughout the continent or thanks to many levels and formats of, of cooperation in particular regional ones thanks to our common protection of freedom Russia will lose in this confrontation after it has lost and as a result a historic chance chance for geopolitical stability along the entire line from Scandinavia through Minsk and Kyiv to the South uh, Caucasus will be realized. Did previous generations have such a chance? Honestly, they didn't have. Because Russia has always kept the potential for destabilization. But now we have it and we have to use it. And I'm sure we will. Dear leaders, now before winter comes, we, we should all focus firstly on hybrid terrorist threats from Russia. We saw last year what the Kremlin was bidding, bidding on, namely strikes on the energy infrastructure to destroy the basis of modern life. We predict that this winter Russia will try to repeat its terror tactics only on a larger scale. It is important now to be ready for any terrorist attacks, for any uh, Russian actions. We must stand this battle, air defense, namely the, namely the defense of our cities, our energy infrastructure and export corridors in the Black Sea is the key to winning the winter battle for Ukraine. And I thank those of you who have helped, helped all of us to protect our, our skies against Russian missiles, drones against Russian jets. The Kremlin must begin to get used to its losses and the loss of the second winter, the loss of its energy terror will definitely give strength to all of us. It will be easier to lead Russia with losses in the future. But, but for this, we still need to work together much more at the global level, at the regional levels, and in bilateral of course format so that after this winter we will be able to record on the basis of our cooperation of our common efforts our joint victory is gradually growing and thanks to it the establishment of geopolitical stability in the entire great great east of europe is approaching a real reliable one and it will be solved. Thank you for your support, invitation. Thanks for everything. Slava Ukraini. Thank you so much, Volodymyr. Thank you. Дуже дякую, Володимире. Дякую за ці слова, за те, що знайшли час виступити перед нами.